David and Ben Hayes are obviously over in Hong Kong. Uh, Criterion runs on Sunday evening our time in the Hong Kong Cup. Yes, so both David and Ben have been really happy with him since arriving in Hong Kong. Um, as we all know, he's well travelled, but he's really got up there and done well. Um, his final bit of work early in the week with Craig Williams aboard was nice, and um, he's in great shape heading into the race. Uh, we see the barriers today, uh, so hopefully if we get an inside draw, um, I'm sure he's going to um, run a competitive race. Um, we're racing at Flemington on Saturday and Randwick on Saturday as well. Before we get into Saturday's racing, um, there's a couple at Mooney Valley we've got on Friday night. Yes, Highland Beat. Um, he's only had the one start, but he had no luck on that occasion. Um, he's drawn nicely, and I think he'll be very competitive. And then we've got Bluger Caviar, who's a very well-bred colt. He's been off the scene for a while, but his track work and trials has been uh, really good. He's drawn a nice gate also. The, the rail is out seven metres and generally suits horses on the pace, but I think both horses should be able to take up a handy position. And starting at Flemington on Saturday in race one over a thousand, Lacqua is first up. She's equal favourite at four dollars sixty. I think she'll sprint well fresh. Um, she looks to have come back and improved to touch this preparation. She's a nice three-year-old filly, um, and I'm sure she'll run a competitive race. Race two, Mahani runs over the fourteen hundred. He's thirteen to one. Um, he goes well at the track and distance. Uh, I think that he's a nice each way chance. And the consistent gracious prospect runs in race four over 1400. He's second favourite. Um, he ran in the Kevin Hefford in a group three last start. He's got a very good record at Flemington um, and I think he's going to be right in the race. Race six over 2000, Flying Light is favourite in a very open betting race, $5. Um, only narrowly missed last start, um, first time at 2,000 metres, which I think uh, he'll appreciate. And he's taking on the older horses, but I think he's got a really good chance. And Tashby looks well placed with Dylan's claim in race seven over a mile, his $3 favourite. Yeah, the form around Tashby is, is really good. Um, he's coming back uh, from a group three at Sandown. And I think in an 84, over 1600 at Flemington, um, he's going to be hard to beat. Two runners in race eight over 1200, starting with the market, one of the market elects, Churchill Dancer. Churchill's got a brilliant record at Flemington down the straight over 1200. Last start at Mooney Valley, just found the 1000 a little bit sharp and got in an awkward spot. Comes into the race well after Dylan Dunn's claim, um, and you've got to respect him. And Pago Rock is the other runner in the eighth, he's 30 to 1. Yeah, Pago is a little bit hard to catch these days, so um, if he put his. Uh, uh, his best foot forward, he'd definitely be right in the race, but he's um, just been struggling a little bit to find his best form. Closing out the day at Flemington in race nine is Ring the Bell, she's seven to one. Um, she also uh, ran in a group race at Flemington over the carnival, so she'll appreciate the drop back in class. Um, I think she'll appreciate a little bit of time but this time between runs and she's rock hard fit so I think she can run an improved race. And for Derby Racing we have Rampage who's drawn out in 16 in the $500,000 English Nursery, race 3 at Randwick over 1,000. I've been thrilled with the way that he's arrived up at Randwick and settled in. Uh, his work on the Sydney legs been good but he's going to really need luck from that outside draw. Sabrika probably unlikely to get a run. Yeah, we're third emergency, so she's drawn nicely, um, but I'd say in a $500,000 race that there's not normally many scratchings. And so your best of the weekend, Tom? Um, we've got really nice race uh, chances at Flemington, but I'd have to stick with Tashby, and I'd also have something maybe on Gracious Prospect and Churchill Dancers, but I haven't been tipping particularly well recently, so hopefully I can turn it around.